Your Natchez History Minute is brought to you by Natchez National Historical Park. Nellie Jackson, the Madam of Natchez, died on this day, July 11th, in 1990. She was 87 years old and had run her bordello for over 60 years. Born into rural poverty in 1902, she became a powerful person in Natchez, operating a very successful business simply known as Nellie's, located in a nondescript house at the corner of Rankin and Monroe Streets. Jackson maintained high standards in running her house. She would not let anyone in drunk or after midnight. As the Houston Chronicle reported, if you wanted a girl at Nellie Jackson's place, you arrived before midnight and you arrived sober. A local legend, Nellie was popular with other business owners in downtown Natchez, as well as a friend to various mayors, aldermen, and law enforcement officers. Joan Gandy, then managing editor of the Natchez Democrat and a close friend of Nellie's, described her as an utterly kind person who never had hard feelings toward another. She cared about the young woman who worked there, Gandy said. If they called up years later needing help, she would help. Nellie was regularly spotted on the back pew at St. Mary Basilica and behind the wheel of her Cadillac, accompanied by her adored French poodles. Nellie Jackson died a week after a neighbor doused her with gasoline and set her afire after she refused him service. Former alderman Paul O'Malley noted how a community could have so much affection for a local madam. It's very strange, I know, he said. But she was the sort of person who was living in the presence of both the devil and the Lord. Hi, this is Lindsay Shelton, assistant editor of the Natchez Democrat, standing in front of Nellie's place, and this has been your Natchez History Minute.